What's up, guys? L up on set from ksound.com. Please allow me to show you a machine quickie. In this video, let's talk about perform effects. You guys already know about it. You heard about it. It's actually been something that's that's been released with machine before the MK3 came out. But on the MK3, it just so happened that they made a button designated to this specific function which is right here so let's play this track that i've worked on here now real quick allow me to explain the process that i usually go through when creating music through machines so i use groups and i separate everything by groups so my group a is something like the chop guitar that I'm that I'm using here so right and then I have my drums right then I have this sound here right and then in group D, I have this sound, which is more like a pizzicato, something like that, right? So here's the idea when using perform effects. It only affects groups and not per sound or not per pad. Separate your instruments or however you want to do it, actually. For this specific group, we're, we're, we're looking at the drums, right? I just so happen to have a transient master for my first effect. I want to toggle over to the next one just so we don't overwrite that. And I'm going to hit shift, perform effects, and perform effects just enter. It insert immediately right there. And we have certain filters or effects to play, play with. So let's, let's play the song. Again, we're affecting just the drums, right? So let's change the effect. Right. Let's go to, to Scratcher. I like that. Right. It's really, it's really cool. I like this. This is great for performing live, and you can actually record it in your session so that it does the same thing with no problem. Animation is everything right now. Then, according to the different filters or the effects, you have different parameters you can play with, just depending on which what you have. So, let's say we go to the very first, the very first group, which is where my guitars live. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna select plugin instance. I have a 76 compressor on his. And I'm just gonna go to where we can add. Boom. We dropped in the effect and let's just play. Let's play with some of the effect here, the parameters. Right. So the touch script is awesome. Right? Let's play with another effect. Let's say I want to record that. So I'm gonna hit auto here and we're gonna go ahead and go. Right. So the cool thing about automation is you don't have to activate the record in order to get it to record. All you have to do is hit auto and it'll work. And I can also control how wet I want this. Right. So I can have a mixture of the dry signal and the wet signal, which is pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this machine quickie. Remember music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture. 
stay creative guys <laughs>